What's going on my dudes? One Step here showing you today that even after the nerf, the most recent nerf we've got, Raiden is still a god. Take it one step at a time. I've been a Raider main since MK9, so I'll always make him good. I'll always make him work. And even after this nerf, man, he is such a beast to play with. He's still so much fun, as long as you use him right. So subscribe here for more fighting game content, and let's get into it. I'm going to show you a couple of your best bread and butter routes with different cameos. You can get in there and test some of these cameos out for yourself, test these combo routes out for yourself, and get to play in Raiden. So Raiden's biggest thing is we had this overhead combo, 4-3-4. Four, four. But the problem with that is this move is very seeable. And if they block that first hit, they can up block your next hit and really punish you. We have our back two, and that's an overhead, but it's not really a combo extender, even with a cameo. So your best options usually are your forward four three combos, your lows into some form of cameo or special move, like your down forward two. He's got some good routes, but I like to use cameos like Scorpion or Striker that give you an overhead option. So like for example, for Scorpion, whether you do a three or a forward four, or whatever you may do, you can actually do forward cameo and Scorpion does the overhead stun, allowing you to continue combo so what i do quite a bit is four four three cameo and then you know my combos from there so even after the nerf let me show you that from a simple combo what kind of damage raiding can do even with scorpion as a cameo and here's how that might look I mean, 423 damage, that's still really good for cameos, for one meter, like, it's still really good stuff, man. Like, it's a little bit harder to hit that 50% mark, but doing over 40 with one cameo, one bar, and stuff like that, as long as you're in the right situation, I still consider that really good. And honestly, even without that exact combo route, you're still doing probably above 30 most of the time. Anywhere from like 35 to like 42% most combo routes like if i jump in overhead and do my three four and then four three four do the same combo like that's still pretty good like again we're hitting 410 percent so 410 damage excuse me 410 percent like we're still doing some really good stuff on different combo routes and then let's say you go for the low hits then forward a cameo there you go overhead then you get the combo going and you only want to use one cameo let's say so let's say you do that that by itself is 370 damage. Again, that's still pretty damn good off of a low hitting starter. Man, he just got some really good stuff. I'll tell you what. One of the most annoying things I found from the nerf that Raiden got is his air combo 224 no longer bounces your opponent up to continue a combo from the ground, which kind of sucks. So you'll see here we'll do it in the air 224 and our opponents just slam down. They don't bounce anymore, which kind of sucks. So I've actually been getting used to playing uh, Raiden with Sonya as a cameo now because she really allows for air combo extension. And here's what I mean. You can like jump up and do one three Sonya and then have a lot of different options from there. So you get him in the air, you do one three Sonya. And then you can just do your combo from there. And even that by itself is 390. So basically call it 400 damage just by using Sonya in the air. If you want to make it super easy, do one three in the air, Sonya, jump one three, back forward three. That's like 350, I think. You know, one three, Sonya, one three, back forward three. Yeah, 350 damage, dude. And that's pretty dang easy. You just do one three, Sonya, one three, uh, back forward three in the air. Uh, Sonya just allows for some air combo extension that you kind of got taken away from this nerf that Raiden got. Plus, you can combo extend off her back cameo move as well well see again 350 350 minimum no matter what cameo we're choosing and off of all these combo routes overhead lows and stuff like that sonya doesn't really offer an overhead option unfortunately but she offers great air combo extension and ground combo extension as well and if you really wanted to go back to the raiden and Jax days he still does pretty damn good damage even with Jax. like check this out we're just gonna use jack just one time okay she needs him one time Yeah, even with Jax, 440 damage, one cameo, one bar with Jax. Jax is still a really good option as a cameo for Raiden. You have the pressure with his normal cameo move, the Grand Slam. That's good pressure, make your opponent want to jump, and then you catch him off guard with your back forward three in the air. That's some good pressure and good setups there. But Jax offers no overheads, no lows. He offers the unblockable, but Jax is mainly there for Raiden for combo extension and damage extension, and he does a really good job at it. Even with our overhead jumping combo, we can still do the same thing with Jax, and it's, it's just... It's just too good, man, honestly. Yeah, even a jump in combo, 410 damage right there. If you wanted to use Jax again in that same combo, of course you do get that new damage stealing they put on the cameos, but you can add more damage if you're gonna win the game with that combo, for example. And here's how that might look by using Jax twice in the same combo, what kind of damage that still does.
I mean, at the end of the day, if you needed to do 460 damage, there you go. My personal favorite cameos that make Raiden an absolute beast, even though he already is by himself, is Scorpion and Sonya. I want the air combos. I want the overhead from Scorpion. I just want these things that these cameos offer. But man, people are like saying, Raiden's not good no more. It's like, bro, he's still really good. He's still pretty punishable. Obviously, if you know how to read him and do the up blocks, like most characters are, you just gotta know how to play the game, right? Like if you try to do up blocks or flawless blocking, whatever. But man, Raiden is still a beast. I'm not trying to downplay him or up play him. He's just still really good and I love him. Let me know what your thoughts are on Raiden. Like post nerf, do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you think he was nerfed too hard or not nerfed enough? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time.